Hello, hello, everybody. Happy Thursday. Making sure that we are good to go. And I do see some of my friends in the chat already. Thank you so much. My stepmom, Vicki, is in the chat. She wanted to be a front row seat or have a front row seat. Congratulations on tomorrow being your last day. Uh, the 8th was my last day. And I am out for summer vacation until August the 10th. I had to think about that for a second. So I'm super excited. And of course, my girl Michelle and Debbie are here. And Beth from Dragonfly Attic. And there's Miss Janice. Hey, Miss Janice, thank you for coming. She's so sweet, y'all. I can't wait to get to go shopping with Miss Janice. So um, I know there, we're going to give everybody a few minutes to get in. And let's see, where's Christine? She probably fell asleep. <laughs> Christine's been working all day. So hey, hey, Dolores, Dolo in the house. Yeah, you'll have to Marco Polo her and tell her, sorry, she's about to be friend number two now. Uh, Dolores is here. The gang's all here. Y'all, wouldn't it be so much fun if we got to all get together and like just go thrifting? Do you think any flea market or thrift store or antique mall could handle us? I don't know. I don't know if they could handle all of us together. That would be a, a bit much. Oh, I see my mom is here and Miss Marlene. Hey, Miss Marlene. Um, champagne and string beans. Well, you know, girls got to do what a girl's got to do. Um, yes, wouldn't that be so much fun, Dolores, if we all got to go thrifting together? But hopefully... Um, things go right with the, what do you call those levels, Dolores? Um, the, hold on y'all, I got to make sure, yeah, that the levels for COVID or whatever it is that they're doing the levels for, I don't know what they're doing the levels for, but um, right now, Dolores can't come, come over here or she'd have to quarantine when she got back. So, hi Robin Summers, and there's Christine. Christine, did she tell you? She said that she's the favorite now because she was first. So I'm super excited to have everybody here. All my friends are with me today. And today's sale is all things summer vacay because this girl is on summer vacay. And I got to start. Christine said fine then. Hey, Kathy, thank you for coming. Kathy Nicely is in the chat. This girl started summer vacay off right, thanks to my friend Lori. Uh, me and, well, it's at Lori's house. She has a swimming pool, and she invited a bunch of the girls over to swim and get some sun today. And so I had a rough day. I had to sit by the pool and hang out with the girls and laugh and all that kind of stuff um, before coming home to take a shower. So that's why we have curls, because I took a shower real quick. Um, and Robin Summers, I see, did I say hey to Robin already? I don't know if I did, but hey, Robin, thank you for coming. I'm glad to see you back in the chat. Oh, there's Christine and, and Michelle. <laughs> yeah, I sent a video to Michelle and Christine to say what a rough day that I was having today, laying out by the pool. I don't, th I think that's why Christine was like, I may not even go to the sale because poor Christine was still working. And so I was actually off. Hey, Carrie, KCATX, thank you so much for coming. Yes, we just got started. Um, but I don't know if she's going to be able to stay. She's saying that she wanted to be off in time. But we sure miss Carrie being in the chats because Carrie's working a lot now. But I'm, Carrie, I keep telling you I'm coming, but I'm coming. I promise you I'm coming. Um, she's over in Austin, right, Carrie? It's Austin. Austin. Yeah. And I want to go there anyway because I want to talk to the retirement people. I'm not ready. I'm not old enough to retire yet. But I just want to get my ducks in a row, you know. All right. Thank you, Christine, for reminding everybody to give a thumbs up. Super excited for tonight. Debbie had a live haul last Thursday, 
Today is um, my turn for the Thursday at 6 p.m. slot, and I'm going to do a live sale. And I think next week, Debbie, you have a haul, right? Um, let me know in the chat next Thursday at 6 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Central, if you have a haul. I think that's what you're doing next week. All right. So it's a live sale. Everybody that I see in the chat knows how the live sales work. If you're not, if you've not said hello to us in the chat, but you're in the background, I just wanted to say if this is your first sale, welcome so much. We have a little bit of fun bantering with each other. And we have, did I get a package? Not that I know of, Dolores, um, but I... But I'll look again because, you know, I was at the pool. Ducks in a row. You did pool floats in a row. Yes, that's true, Michelle. Um, yes, Debbie has a haul next week. So, okay, tune in next week at 6 on Thursday for Debbie's haul. So, live sale. If you're in the background just watching, thanks so much for watching. And let us know in the chat that you're here. Some people like to just stay in the background and then they zoom in at the last minute. But this is a live sale that has... I will have vintage and modern items in this sale um, and you will see the item and get a description. I'll disclose any information I know about the item, including any damage to the item. Um, and you, each item will have a number and associated with it and a price. It will be on a card. I will hold that up. If you would like to claim the item, please just put in the item's number. Not the price, but the item's number. The first person on my end that I see, because there is a lag with StreamYard, it's about to 8 to 10 seconds on a good day, um, and everybody's internet speed is different. So the first person that I see on um, my end to have the correct number will have the opportunity to purchase that item. Having said that, if you do claim an item, um, please be mindful that I am shipping from Houston. The price of the item does not include shipping, so you will be invoiced for the item's cost and the shipping through PayPal. That is our means of payment. Um, so at the end, uh, scrolling on the bottom, you can see that it says, send me the email at scprint. It's over here, sorry. SCPrincess1 at Comcast.net. Now, a lot of times people forget this one right here, but it is SCPrincess1. Think the one and only, that's me. And it is at Comcast.net, not Gmail. So it is Comcast.net. Send me an email with your first and last name, a complete mailing address to include the zip code, a YouTube name if you have a different name here in the chat, as well as an email for your PayPal account, and you will get an invoice through PayPal. Um, it usually goes to your email, and it'll say you have an invoice, and it will have the item and the price and the shipping for that item or items um, and the price for that shipping. If you buy more than one item, then I combine all your items into one shipping cost. The shipping is done through PayPal, um, not PayPal, I just lied to you. The shipping is done through Pirate Ship, and that is, I literally put in your address, and I put in the weight and the dimensions of your package, and it tells me the different ways that it can go. It is all U.S. mail. Um, it is not a UPS quote or anything like that, but U.S. mail. Most of the time, I send it priority if it's less than a dollar difference. If it's less than 80 cents-ish difference, I send it priority. Otherwise, I'll send it um, the least expensive way. Um, <laughs> I've already, I've done lied, Michelle said. I've done lied. The one and only, that's me. Hey, Jessica, Thrifty Shutterbug, you're up late because it is 11.08, right? Did I do the math right? In the UK. So Thrifty Shutterbug, as well as Miss Damn Jewelry Dolores, they are actually in the UK. And um, so they are um, here joining us today. I do see that Michelle has said, hey, to all our snipers that are in the background. Um, so that is fun. And let's see, There's, they do happen, y'all, so be careful about those snipers. I think I may have one or two. I have to look at my sheet again um, to see. I think I have one or two offer ups, and that is where 
I will start the item at a certain price and people will go up by $1 increments. Um, there, I don't have any really big ticket items today, like in the hundreds of dollars or 50, $60. We don't roll like that over here. I try to find items at very good prices and that way I can then give them to you in very good prices. Um, let's see, I think that, oh, one thing I did wanted to say about the shipping. If I, I do ship internationally, I've shipped to Canada and the U, um, UK so far, but please be mindful of the shipping. I always feel bad when um, Dolores or Jessica get something because the shipping is so expensive um, and it's cheaper US mail than UPS from here to there. Um, but I'll, please be mindful that Canada right now, the shipping is outrageous. Like it's about, a, it's close to 18 to $20 a pound in the shipping. So please be mindful of that. I do have the scale today over here as well as a ruler to give if you want weight um, or measurement in anything um, so that we can kind of see how that would go. Um, but uh, that has been causing some problems with our friends in Canada and, and them being able to purchase once several items are placed in the box. But it does get pretty expensive. So I wish there was a different way. Um, yes. And Jessica is saying she has, she, her daughter is in the States. So she sends everything to her daughter, Ashley. Um, okay. So see, Miss Janice is on it. Miss Janice is our peacemaker. She's telling Christine and, um, Michelle to pipe it down in there. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Um, I do have a lot of items. Now it's mostly a lot of smalls, but think anything summer vacay. So we're gonna start with a really small item. And this is some more of my vintage ceramic hand painted buttons. And um, I just sent some to Miss Maria. And, but I wanted to show these first. Some people do like to craft with them. This is only a set of three and they are beautifully colored. They are hand painted. Each button is about an inch to an inch and a quarter. Um, and so they're not really big. I mean, like this is my finger, so you can see, but beautiful colors, two whole buttons, hand painted ceramic. There is this one. I just love the colors in these. A lot of people will use these for putting on a pillow or adding to a dress. They actually were on a dress. Oh, I, that fish is upside down. Sorry. But I loved these three buttons. And we're going to start off really low today. These three buttons are $4 for the set of three, number 21. $4 for the set of three hand-painted ceramic buttons, number 21. So if you are interested in that item, you would put number 21 in the chat. All right. Making sure that I have everything here. Michelle said those buttons seem a little fishy to her. <laughs> Michelle's got jokes today. She always has jokes. All right, let's see. Our next one is the 4th of July is coming up. So I have a new piece of new old stock. This is a stamp cross stitch of God Bless America. It's not a really big piece. So if you were just learning to cross stitch or wanted to learn to cross stitch, this one is, it's a 2001 um, and it is a seven by five, seven inch by five inch. It does have everything in the package. The package has never been opened. It is $5, number 76. $5, number 76. Hey, Deanna, Dot Lights Red. We also call her Dot. Thank you for coming. She said, Michelle says she'll be here the wholesale, y'all. So there you go. All right, Michelle, I have you for 76 for the God Bless America. Are you going to make it, Michelle? I can't cross stitch. I mean, I guess I could, but it seems like a lot of work. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Michelle. I'll get that together for you. The next is, um, I spotlighted this. <laughs> Christine said, I knew it. 
Um, I spotlighted this before when I found this because I thought it was really cool. We always think of the June Bride. And this is a vintage bride's file. And it's really cool. Not only does it have the little plastic box with it, but it comes with all of the cards. So I've checked it and all of the alphabet is there. And I want to say it was like 50 cards. So it had this little index where somebody started to use it, but they didn't. All of your services and all the things that you needed to do. And it had a service card. There's, there's a bunch of these service cards on there. And then they have, it has all of the alphabet cards with it. And I did check all of them are there. And then this is the get, guest and gift record. And there are several of these in that. Hey, Christy, Tippy Winks Vintage. Thanks so much for coming. Y'all, I do appreciate you coming. I know there's a lot of sales right now. And so I appreciate anybody that can drop in and say, hey. Hey, Sharon, thanks so much for coming. So I do have this Vintage Brides file in the box that has all of the things with it. And this is $8 number 14. $8 number 14 for the Brides file with all of its contents. And Michelle says, if it's multiple marriages, just wipe some stuff out. No problem. That is pretty, um, Janice. I thought it was different. I, I've never seen that. Right now, they have all these big binders and things like that. So make sure I didn't miss anyone that came in. I want to make sure I say hey to everybody. Um, hey, Miss Mary. This one is an item that I'm re-showing. Um, I showed this at a all vase and planter sale, but... Because it is a destination spot, we have Crater Lake in Oregon, and it is Dragonware. So I will show you on the bottom that it is, I think it's FCO. I don't know if y'all are going to be able to see that with the glare from outside. But it does say Made in Japan. It's a beautiful blue luster color. It is a piece of Dragonware. It does have Crater Lake. I think it's... Crater Lake in Oregon on there. Now they do make these, but they have different places in the center. Um, and the dragons are all a little bit different. And there is no chips or cracks and there are no pieces of the dragon that are missing. Um, none of that raised paint is missing there. Uh, at the top, it does have some gold. At the top, it is, it's absolutely beautiful. I will measure it for you. It is about six and a half inches tall. And the little mouth of it is about two inches wide. So I really like the blue luster piece of that. I like the color is what drew me. This little dragonware vase is only $6, number 32. $6, number 32. And again, it is made in Japan. I'm so glad Christy could stop by. That was fun. Moriage. Yeah, the Moriage Rays painting. Yes. All right. I got several of, and some are vintage and some I don't think are as vintage. And they are collector spoons for different states. And the first one that I'm going to show you is considered a vintage. Um, you can look them up and see the different, how they've changed. Uh, there's one, this is Colorado. I'm going to try to get it as close as I can. The state is Colorado and it has a deer little, it is a, I don't know if y'all are going to be able to see that. Let me see if I can get it to focus. Can y'all see the little deer? And it says Colorado in here. And then on the spoon, it is also etched. I don't know if y'all how well you're gonna be able to see that. On the spoon, it has like the state shape and it like the flower, it's all pressed. Yes, that is darling. Oh dear, that's darling. But I love the little the little deer that is the charm on that. Um, this is seven dollars number eight. Seven dollars number eight. 
Michelle says she read in a reference book that dragonware is a nickname given by the collectors. Well, that's fun. I wonder what the real name is, Michelle. Did it say? Because I don't know. I only call it dragonware only because I learned it here in the vintage community. <laughs> All right. Let's do a um, strawberry item. Are you ready for that? This is actually going to be the big. Hey, Pat Doodles. Thank you so much for coming. Let's see. The real name is just the Moriage Dragon Motif. Well, there's your knowledge for the day. We can always thank Michelle. Make sure you check out her Wisdom Wednesdays because thank you, um, Christy, for coming by. I know there's a lot of sales today, but um, Michelle always does reference, goes through reference books and teaches us things. And um, it's really good content to watch. Let's do, I know that Beth from Dragonfly Attic is out there because she came specifically for um, some strawberry pieces. I'm going to actually do, this is a flat price, but it is the strawberry, I'm calling it a sugar, but it might be a jam jar. And it does have, there's one condition issue, but let me turn it around without dropping it. Better, easier said than done. So it does have its own little spoon. I believe this to be a hobbyist piece. So you can see right, oh, it's upside down. No. No, it's this way. I was right. It says J-O-66. So I'm assuming in 66 because it has the asterisk or the apostrophe in front of the 66. So Joe in 66 painted this. Now it has this little tray with it. And then it has the lid, which is the strawberry leaf. And there is no damage to the lid. Joe also wrote their name right there. So that's the same pattern as the leaf, the leaf on the bottom. And then it has the little spoon that goes with it, the original spoon. And then the strawberry. Now here's the condition issue. Right here where the spoon rests. And Joe put their name on that too. Let me see. Yes, it also says Joe 66 on the bottom right there. But right here where the spoon rests, trying to do it where y'all can see it, is where there is some condition. There is a little chip right there. But it does not take away. You do not see it when you put the lid on and put the little dish there. Can everybody see that? I, I'm used, I'm a, such a teacher that I'm used to everybody going, yes, ma'am. Okay. So this one is $10, number 45. $10, number 45. Yes. Um, I think that it is a jelly, uh, like a jelly jar or a jelly dish. But I don't know if you would do that or if you want to put um, sugar in it. I don't know. But I'm guessing that it is for jelly or jam. But it is a 1966 piece, handmade. Um, and it is number 45, $10. All right. Let's see. Yes, the spoon coming with it. Um is different because normally when you find the jam jars, you don't see the spoon. Okay. Um, the next is who doesn't love Disney during the summertime. And this is a Disney product. And it says Walt Disney world on the back. And I see Beth for number 45. Thank you, Beth dragonfly addict. And this is the Mickey Mouse with the letter P. So the letter P Mickey Mouse Disney mug that, I mean, it's got some weight to it, y'all. It's like 14 ounces is how much it weighs. And it is red on the inside. There's no chips or cracks and no, no um, damage to the paint. That is $8 number 
57. Eight dollars number 57 for the letter P mug. You know what you can put in there, sweet treats. All right. Hey, Lori and Sugar Bridges. Thank you for coming. Okay, Beth, I have you. All right, so my goes to Beth at Dragonfly Attic. Okay, and since we're vacationing, just come on over to Texas. And this is a whole set of Texas postcards deep in the heart of Texas. Now there, it says 30 postcards. There are 29. There are 29 of these. I will show you um, some of the pictures that are postcards. These are the front. This is what the back of the postcard looks like. Let me show you. Here's the blue bonnets. They're thick. They are thick um, cardstock or poster board. And it tells you the location. Oh, you still looking for my coasters? She found some coasters and I asked her about them and she moved them and now she can't find them. But there are tons of pictures. Again, there are 29 and they are thick. I don't know if you can see the thickness, but it is thick like cardstock or poster board. There are 29 different postcards in here. The whole book is going to be $6, number 68. $6, number 68 for the Texas postcards. Okay, Michelle, she's buffering. She's going to be back. Yeah, sugar britches came. All right, what's next? I have a, we're just going to travel, but this is going to be a travel back in time. Miss Stam Jewelry, Dolores, you want the Texas postcards? All right, I got the Texas postcards. I'll put that in a box that is going to the UK. You don't think you knew you were getting a box, but um, <laughs> Christine said, phew, Michelle's gone. We got a few minutes. <laughs> I'm going to do, we're going to travel still for summer vacay, but this is going to be back in time. And y'all know that I love ephemera. So I have um, a couple of these needle craft magazines. Um, now this one is, I'm sure the month is June because I tried to put it with the sales. This is June 1917, Needlecraft Magazine, but look at this full page ad, and it's pretty big. I'm going to let you look. This is reduces your, your egg bills right here. Another advantage in using royal baking powder. Now, the whole thing about this Needlecraft magazine, it really is teaching you about embroidering, tatting, um, crocheting. It's a woman's magazine. It's like one of the first um, arts and crafts kind of things. Uh, but it tells you about how to do it and how to do it properly. Here's some, I want to show you some of the pieces. And I try to be careful with the pages. But a lot of people use these for junk journaling. Um, especially for the ads. So let me show you this. I will tell you, oh, waists that are dainty and distinctive. Well, mine might be distinctive, but it ain't dainty. Um, but a lot, like I said, a lot of people use these for the ads for junk journaling um, and things like that. Here's my favorite piece of these magazines. It is 12 full front and back pages in this but like this story is called the blue caterpillar and in every one of these magazines is like some little short story almost like a novella like a um soap opera or something but it's a woman's magazine so they put this little thing in print here i actually was reading one and um i was kind of 
um, I guess not taken aback is the right word, but I was surprised at the level of vocabulary because in 1917, I mean, not every child got to go to school. So I was taken aback at some of the vocabulary. But here is a Quaker Oats company. It's a big ad a day in June with the puffed wheat and the puffed rice. And then there's usually some kind of recipes in these as well. But I do, I, I loved these magazines. Let me show you the, see it's full of on the side. It's full of little ads and pictures and things like that. So it has a bunch of them. Sometimes there is fashion in here. There's a Knox Jello ad. Uh, this is about knitted lace being practical and pretty. Oh, here goes the fashion. I told you there was fashion. These are dainty summer dresses. This looks hot, hot, hot to me. This one is more my style with the whole apron kind of thing <laughs> with pockets so I don't lose stuff. But um, again, these are really, really cool. I do have several of these. Look, this is for children. But this magazine is going to be, if I can find it, what is this, the 1917? I think this is the 1917. Yeah, this is the June 1917. This book is going to be $8, number 19. $8, number 19 for the June 1917 Needlecraft Ephemera. And put that over there so it doesn't bend. All right. Yes, it does look hot and miserable. All right. The next thing is we're going back to Florida because that we since we're hot and miserable, let's go to Florida, right? Because <laughs> um, Christine tells us it's hot there. This one is a um, made in Korea, one of the souvenir plates. And this is Florida. I love the colors in that. No chips or cracks on this Florida plate. It is $6 number three. Hey, Miss Jeannie. Christine said she walked out to get the mail and thought um, she was literally on the sun today. <laughs> yeah, it was hot. It was hot. The souvenir plates, um, several people are picking those up. On this souvenir plate, it has um, lots of the little, let me get a little bit closer for you. It's got a lo lots of the little hot spots on there, not the newer ones. It doesn't have, it does have Bush Gardens um, and Kate Kennedy, Kate Kennedy on here. Let's see. I was looking at Jacksonville, Tallahassee. Panama City, Pensacola. Um, does it have any springs? Springs, Christine, I don't know. Hold on. Pensacola, Fort Walton, Pan, um, Ocala, Wiki Wachi Spring. I don't know what Wiki Wachi Spring. Oh, I do see Orlando, SeaWorld, Disney World, Cypress Gardens. Clear Tampa, Clearwater, St. Petersburg. The only Miami. Oh, that's way down there. How about I didn't know that? I think the only spring that I see, um, Christine, is Wiki Wachi Spring. That's the only one that I see on there. All right. So since we're in Florida, let me do a little piece of jewelry. And that is a little um, vintage Main Street USA. This is a little badge or lapel pin. Hold on, let me turn it this way. And it does have Mickey on there. I want to see if, what y'all see. Can y'all see the little Mickey Mouse on there? He's 
the Mickey is up here. He's on a bicycle. And this Disney pin is $5 number 15. $5 number 15 for the Main Street USA Disney pin. Before I lose it, let me put it back up. All right. Now let's go over a little bit. And let me see. Miss Jeannie, you want the Disney pin? I'm going to put that up here so I don't lose it. All right. Miss Jeannie, I have you for the Disney pin. Thank you. Let's go to DC. This one is not super vintage. I think this is actually one of the newer ones. This is DC, capital city. I don't even think, I think this has to, it does have no date on it, but it does have some design. It has the information right here. It's really hard to get it to, um, to show y'all and focus. But down here, it has the engravement pieces on there. And this is Washington, D.C. And it does have the Washington Monument, the Lincoln, the Capitol. It has some other buildings on it. This one is $5, number 56. Yeah, I think the vacation theme is really fun, especially since I'm on vacation. That's what makes it even more fun. So if you're not into traveling to the cities or going on those kinds of things, you might be into camping or preparing for the 4th of July. And I am going to show you another enamel pot. This is the blue and white speckled enamel pot. It does have its original lid on there. It is not rusted out at all. And I thought with the little top on it like this with a flag or some greenery and a flag in that, that would be super cute. But, or you can use it, whatever. The enamel little pot with the lid is $7, number 70. $7, number 70 for the enamel pot with the lid. All right. So the next one, I need to know if y'all want to do a offer up. Vicki, you want number, you want the enamel pot? Um, you're in luck. You, you will save on shipping because I'm headed that way. Good job. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Vicki. All right. The next one. I need to know if y'all want to do a straight price or an offer up. Um, and this one is a really beautiful piece. It is the white fish planter. It is completely intact. No chips or cracks. It does not even have crazing is in it. <laughs> it is when I'm going to, when I'm visiting, yes. When I'm on the way, yes, it is. So you let me know if you think this needs to be a straight price or if you want it to be an offer up. I'll let you guys let me know. Christine, weigh in. Michelle, Dolores, what do you think? What do you want to do? It is, it has got some beautiful detail in that. Kathy says offer up. Christine says offer up. All right. So I am going to do an offer up. We are going to start at $12. Let me let you see the detail. And here's the detail in that. 
absolutely no. Normally there's chips here or here, but there is not. So if you are interested in this, I see Miss Kathy coming in at 15. Thank you, Kathy. And let me tell you the dimensions of this. This little thing here stands at right under nine inches to this portion right here. That's nine inches. The base of this is three and a half. So it's three and a half at the base here. Hey, Susical. And there is a glazing flaw like right here. You see that? It's like a drip. I see Vicky at 16. But it is not a crack. It is, um, it's like a glob in the glaze right there and there's a drip. It isn't marked in any way, glazed on the bottom, but not on the rim. But I just, it is beautiful. Great detail in the eye. So if you, um, we're at 16 right now. If you want to go up, the next bid would be 17. Oh, let me turn it this way, because I think. And um, if you are out, just say out, no harm, no foul. Yeah, that's a drip. But it is a beautiful, it is the white base right there. So. I see Debbie, our vagabond travels at 17. And the mouth opening on this is about one and a half. And again, it is about, it's about, mm, let me see, hold on. Let me do it this way because it's nine inches. The tail, the tail is just over five inches. I see 18 for Kathy. I did post this on um, Instagram too. Yes, they are very pretty. And to find one that's not chipped or cracked or anything, um, that's good. I see our vagabond at 19. So if you are out, and you are done um, offering, then, hey, Michelle, we are doing an offer up on this fish base. And right now it is at $19 to Debbie at Our Vagabond Travels. If you are out, just type out so we know that you are done offering. And right now we are going to be at Debbie. So I'm going to start counting down. So now is your time, but and I will, when you have to be, have your offer in before you see it in the chat, okay? So we're gonna count down from 10. I see Kathy at $20. So we're gonna start the countdown. 10, nine, eight, Seven, thank you, six, five, did I say seven, six, five, <laughs> four, three, two, one, stop. I have, let me refresh to make sure. I have miss kathy nicely for twenty dollars so it's going to be sold miss kathy i think that's the first time that you have bought from me so i want to say thank you and please make sure that you um send me your information all of the information that is scrolling in the ticker portion of this right here at the bottom please make sure that you send that information to me so that um, I can get you invoiced and I will package it up with loving care. All right. 
and get that over to you. Thank you. All right. Since we are talking about Florida, thank you so much. I appreciate you, Kathy. I just was at the pool. I didn't look at my email yet. We're going to have a Florida souvenir that I think is really cool, y'all. It is a Florida pen holder that does have a working thermometer in here. Um, it has all of the water and the, and the um, shells still in there, but it is a pen holder for your desk. And um, this does move, so it's not stuck, but there is the thermometer. It does say Florida. You can see all of the shells and things that are in there, the glitter and the, it's got some cool shells in there, but this is just a great touristy piece. This piece is going to be $9, number 24. $9, number 24. All right. So still staying with Disney. I thought this thing looked like Pluto. I don't know that I'm right. I think I'm actually very wrong, but I think this actually came with other dogs, but y'all, I think that looks like Pluto. And I have washed him. Um, I think some of the red is cold painted. It was like this before, so I did rinse him, but I wasn't gonna scrub him. Look at his little face, so cute. He's just a little dog. And he does not have any chips or cracks. Let me double check that. He does have that cold paint loss right here. I do believe that he was with a set of other dogs. But to me, he looked like Pluto. So in Beth World Party of One, he is going to be a Pluto dog. And he's only um, about two and a half inches tall by two inches long and he is six dollars number 33 six dollars number 33 for the cartoon dog and he is stamped where did it stamped he is stamped very faintly japan right here and i see christine of side street market for the pluto dog well he can go with your calico cat that i'm sending you I went shopping um, yesterday and I always take the girls with me because there's so much help. And I found something and it was a calico patchwork cat and Christine was picking that up. So let's go on to New Mexico. Now this is a vintage spoon. It is made by um, Cameo. It does say perfection plate. Australia silver plate. So it is silver plate. It does have the cameo on the back. It is thicker than the others. Um, it does say New Mexico right here. It does not have anything for New Mexico here other than the scallop piece, but I do love the little New Mexico. What you can't see and I can't really make out is I think that it has like a building, like a tower is what it, the caverns. Oh, it's the Caverns National Park. Carlsbad Caverns National Park. It's amazing when you get glasses, what you can see. So this little vintage Mexico spoon that is silver plate is $7, number 48. And it does have the cameo embroidered, I mean, embossed on the back. All right, Newton's Cupboard, you want the New Mexico spoon. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Christine. All right, so June, the time for brides. This is a, it's listed as a vintage um, cake topper made by Ardco. It is made in Taiwan. There's your Arco sticker right here, made in Taiwan. But it is a bride and groom, a bisque little piece that was used as a cake topper. They look a little young, too young to be getting married, I think. But 
I don't judge. I'm just saying, do you really know what you're getting into? That's what I'm going to say. But they're cute. All of her little flowers and everything are there. There's no chips or cracks in there. I just think they look like babies. Just babies. So $7, number two. Since there's two of them, get it? They're a couple. $7, number two. Oh, Chris, uh, Michelle says, it's Carlsbad Caverns, Memories of Dawn and um, I's First Trip. That's sweet, Michelle. Save it for an anniversary and just tie it on there. That's cute. But the little, um, maybe a shotgun wedding. He's like this, his little face. <laughs> okay, let's go back to Florida. I don't know how in Texas we ended up with so much Florida stuff. But this is a cute little Orlando souvenir piece. And it's all luster, y'all. Look at these little. Now, the Orlando is written right here. And you're going to have to see it in the light. See it right there? It says Orlando, Florida. But otherwise, you can't see it. But it has shells. And it has, a well, there's a starfish. And it has some shells. Everything is luster. It's got a bo bamboo bottom. It's got two dolphins on there. And it does open. And it's luster on the inside. No trinket or anything in that. Um, nothing marked on the bottom. But it is a cute little um, trinket box. It is about to the tip of the other, to the top dolphin's nose. It's four inches. And it is two and a quarter inches um, wide. And this is $9, number 62. $9, number 62 for the Orlando Luster Dolphin Trinket Box. All right, what is next? Next is a piece of restaurant wear um, that... It is out of Wyoming, the Wyoming Cowboys. And he means business, doesn't he? Look at that face. He He's not playing with you people. It is a little restaurant wear piece. It is marked USA on the bottom here. And I believe that's a D handle if I'm not wrong. $5, number 77. $5, number 77 for this little restaurant wear Wyoming piece. I mean, that's kind of how I feel on Mondays. I'm not gonna lie, when I have to work. Now, this coming Monday, when I don't have to get up, I might be better, but most Mondays it's like that. All right, let's do another strawberry item, shall we? Um, this is a spoon rest. It is not terribly old. It's probably not old at all, but I loved how big it was. And I showed this on Instagram. No chips, no cracks, great colors. It is a Sakura, I believe is how you pronounce that. It, I'm calling it a spoon rest. It's modern. You can tell on the back. It does say farm stand fruit, um, David Carter Brothers. Hand wash only, not for microwave use. Um, earthenware is what it is. And this one, I'm only asking $5, number 29. $5, number 29 for the really big spoon rest, strawberry spoon rest. That is about five inches across. And I see Beth with Dragonfly Attic. She was not kidding when she said, I'm coming for my strawberry stuff. I hear you. Thank you, Beth. You are getting all the strawberries. All right. The next piece is, I think, great for the 4th of July. And it is just a big round tray that has American flags on it, but whether it sits and has display here or it's in the backdrop, okay, got to get some vino. It's happy hour, y'all. 
<laughs> but it does have um, just a flag motif. It is a just a metal backing tray. No paint loss on it. Um, no chips or on in the metal or anything like that. It is larger. It is about 12 to 13 inches in diameter. And um, I got it for really good price. So I'm passing that on to y'all. Six dollars number 17. Six dollars number 17 for the flag tray. It's pretty big size. It's just an old metal tray. All right. How did I know, Michelle? Mich Michelle um, and her husband both served. And um, thank you for y'all's service, Michelle, seriously. Um, and so she likes to decorate with her patriotic stuff. So let me put that over. I'm just going to leave it right there. The next is, I have to find, a um, 1935, I believe it is, postcard. And it is not used. Uh, this is Mackinac Island. And it says Island House, Ma uh, Mackinac Island, Michigan. Isn't that Mackinac Island? But it is a black and white photo. And it is just $4, number 54. It does not have any writing on the back. So it is an unused postcard. It does have a spot right here, like a water drop spot on that. Hey, Miss Belinda, thank you for coming. So the Mackinac Island postcard that is black and white is $4, number 54. All right. Let's see what's next. Um, another piece of enamel coming up. This is the ladle or the scoop. It is the, the longer one. I think this one is seven. Let me make sure. Yeah, seven and a half inches to the tip of the ladle. Um, it is got the pour spout on that. That is three and a half inches long. There is a condition issue right here. Can you see that? Right here. You can see it right there. So, but it's not rusted through the bottom. So it is a dipper and pourer. It does have the hole in the top. It is $7, number 30, for the enamelware dipper. $7, number 30. Hey, Katie. Mama Katie's here. You love Katie. She just loves Katie. All right. Another spoon. This one was really, really cool. Hey, Terry. I just saw you pop in. This little souvenir spoon is another vintage spoon. And it is out of Louisiana, New Orleans. And it just says in cursive here in New Orleans there. But it does have a figural trumpet on the top. And I thought that was super cute. Um, it says on the bottom, warm. It's silver plated. Uh-oh, uh a terrible storm. Dry off. But I'm like, thank you, Katie, for listening. So I love this vintage Louisiana spoon. It's very different from any of the others that I have seen. It is $7, number 61. $7, number 61 for the vintage New Orleans spoon. And let me see if I can show you the New Orleans right there. Can y'all see that? And I see Miss Terry for the New Orleans spoon. Thank you. Make sure if you, I, I, Terry, I may have your information and, I, and I'm thinking that, I'm, that I do, but if I don't, make sure that if you are purchasing tonight, anyone um, that is purchasing tonight, if I don't already have your information, please send all the things that are scrolling on the ticker here 
and make sure that you send it to the SC Princess one at comcast.net. Um, I'm not Gmail. The next is a red, white, and blue item. It is another crochet trivet. Now, Michelle got the blue and yellow and the white one of these, but I found when I went back a red, white, and blue, and I thought that would just be absolutely beautiful in the center of the table. Um, it is 11, it's about 11 by 10, because, you know, not exactly square, but 11 by 10. I just thought that was beautiful. This one is going to be $4 number 43 $4 number 43 for the red white and blue trivet it is a crocheted trivet all right i am going to do another piece of ephemera this one is another 12 page magazine this one is june 1920 so let me show you the date june 1920 but look at this beautiful ad it's a snap ad since i kind of explained that's right that's what i thought the the long pink th uh, tray with three bunnies on it hey book how you doing Miss Book Bewitched. So these are charming dresses for spring and summer. That's charming right here. So again, 12 pages in front and back, printed front and back. I just want, I'm going to send, when, a, when one of these books falls apart and it has one of those little saucy uh, short stories, I'm going to send it to Katie and tell her to read that. <laughs> Because Katie does great reading. Here's another Quaker Oats ad. Look at that little girl. This one is going to be $8. You get all the whole book that is totally intact with all of the ads and everything. It is, this one has two Quaker Oats ads. And the saucy story, oh, 60 pounds down here. Dreams Come True by Beatrice Imboden. Dreams come true. That's the short story in this one. Um, okay. So I was looking. This one has a lot of ads. Oh, this is a home wedding. This is for a home wedding cake and then Mazzola, the shortening. But great ads. This one has tons of ads in it. Oh, this is, look at the bottom of that. I just think it's so cool. Great for junk journaling. Again. Um, here's some of the fashion, some more fashion and some more ads. Look at those great ads. And let me see, I think was there, there is some more of the home wedding, but this one is June, 1920. It is $8 for the entire magazine. Uh, it's 12 front and back pages, number uh, 42. $8, number 42 for the ephemera. And I will go back through um, the, I see Janice Stevens. Thank you, Miss Janice. And Janice, if we could meet up, you would save on that shipping. That would be great. That would be fun, Janice. That would give us an excuse, right? <laughs> All right. Um, yes, I love to see the fashion in there. This is another Mackinac Island. Um, and this one is in color, though. This one is in color. It is 1935. It says copyright 1935 here. I think the other one was from the same batch. This is the harbor and city of Mackinac Island, Michigan. And isn't that beautiful? It is not written on, but it is a 1935 postcard. It is $4, number 10. $4, number 10. 
Oh, good. Thank you, Carrie. I'm glad you were able to come in for a few minutes. $4 number 10 for that postcard. All right, let me get a few more items. I see Janice for the Mackinac Island postcard. Thank you, Miss Janice. Okay. Let me get a few more items over here. And the next item that I have is a clock. Um, it's a decorative piece, a decorative clock piece. I have not attempted to put a battery in it and look at it. Um, I just thought, Susical <laughs> said she she's ate too many sausages. I thought this would just be a great display piece. I, I don't know if it works. I'm so I'm going to assume it does not. Let me just be honest with you. So it's a United States of America. It's a 20D, like a coin piece. Um, it opens like this for the clock. Now, it is a Selco. I don't know anything about clocks, but I thought, you know, just being out in a display, it would be beautiful. I do know that the hand that moves the alarm, the little gray, if you can see, the little gold piece, it does move and work, and it does have an alarm piece right here and a battery, but I have not tried it, so I don't know if um, this works at all. So if you're looking for it to keep time, that was not the purpose of me selling it. It is um, got some weight to it, but it's less than the other thing. It's only 12 ounces, 12 and a half ounces. But I thought this was really cool. So because I don't know if it works or not, but I just thought it was a really cool design, I'm just going to ask $6, number 34. But I do think that it would be a great design um, or a great added piece to um, a display. I thought that would be really cool. All right. So... Um, Dolores is originally from Texas, and she does not miss the heat. Terry, I have you for the clock. Thank you, Terry. I hope you can get that working, but I don't know if it does. I was just going to use it for display and ran out of space on my tiered tray. So <laughs> I don't have one. All right. The next thing, y'all. Um, oh, that'd be awesome. The next thing that I have is one of my all-time favorite things because I'm just weird. I don't know what to tell you. This is a what I call a toothpick holder, but it could be an air plant vessel. Um, it is a foot. And it says, I got a kick out of North Dakota. And the toenails are polished. Is that not darling? It is made in Japan. It is stamped there. But, I mean, is that not hysterical? I love this. Now, I bought feet shake, salt and pepper shakers from Christine. It was one of the first things that I ever bought. But I think with a little bitty air plant in that, that would be hysterical. Um, it's only going to be $5, number 18. $5, number 18 for the little, what I'm calling a toothpick holder, I believe. It is made in Japan. I think it is hysterical. And, you know, it would make a great gift for a podiatrist or if you um, <laughs> or if you did a white elephant. I think that'd be hysterical. All right. I see Miss Book. Miss Book Bewitch. Thank you. I think that is too cute. Let me make sure that that's right. I got a couple of people looking at that. But uh, sorry, Debbie, you missed out on the feet. <laughs> but, but, I mean, I'll let you look at my feet, salt, and pepper shakers. All right. I think that was hysterical. Where is that on my... Hold on now. I'm just going to put that right here and this right here. I don't know what I, where it is. Oh, here it is. Uh, I got it. All right. Another um, June Bride thing. Um, but this one is a skunk. I'm not going to say wedding stink. I'm not. I'm not going to say that. But isn't it cute? 
look how cute she is. And she's just enamored with herself. It does say June down here. It is not marked in any way. It is a bisque piece. I love the little skunk on there. Thought it would be great for a tear tray. Or if somebody was having a bridal shower or getting married in June or got married in June, um, I thought that was cute. And it was going to be $6, number 22. $6, number 22. I think it's quite the conversational piece book. So let me know what you do with that. But the little skunk is $6, number 22. And the next piece I want to know if y'all want to do an offer up on as well. It, it's a little bit different. I did put this on Instagram. Um, it's a little vessel and I think it holds like an air plant or something. Um, but this is the piece with the luster dolphins. It is not marked with Belinda. I see you for number 22, sweetie. Thank you. Um, it is not marked with like a souvenir piece. It does not say Orlando or Florida or anything. Um, it's got some gold paint. It's got some luster. It's got two dolphins. I think this piece right here is where the little vessel could go. But I mean, you could put anything in there. I guess two picks too. So let me know if you um, want this to be an offer up or if you want that to be a straight price. Oh, that will be cute. All right, Belinda got the little skunk. I don't know if it was maybe for a fish tank. It could have been, I don't know. Maybe. It's not marked on the bottom and it has holes. It does have some weight to it. It is uh, just over a pound, so be mindful of that. But what do y'all think? Offer up or straight price? You tell me. Maybe. I just thought it was super cool. Christine always says offer up. I think she knows because it makes me nervous. Let me tell you a little bit about it first. <laughs> She's just laughing and laughing. I think it's what this is what I get for going to the pool. Six and a half. Six and a half. So um, here's what we'll do. Um, the starting price is $12. So if anyone is interested in this piece, it is just put in um, $12, but it is beautiful. There's no chips or cracks or anything in there. It could be a, um, none of the fins are broken or anything like that, but it could be a, what'd you call it? A fish tank or an aquarium piece. I saw this piece right here and immediately thought, of an air plant. I don't know why. I guess because we're conditioned to think of everything as an air plant, but the colors are beautiful in that. So if anyone is interested, y'all let me know. We can come back to that piece. Okay. The next is a um, glass that I put on Instagram. It is the Philadelphia glass. It is um, not marked with an L. It has 23 on the bottom. And I don't know what that is, if that's ounces or what. It's pretty tall. Let me just tell you that this, I think, I don't think it's 23 ounces. Maybe. I don't drink draft stuff. But it is five and three quarter inches tall. The mouth is about three and a quarter inches. Um, let me show you what it looks like. I'm going to put a piece of paper in there so you can see. This is the Philadelphia. Now, I'm going to get it a little close because it is actually like a grainy texture. This is a grainy texture. This is $8, number 41, for the Philadelphia glass. 
and it says an OTG experience on the back. That's all it says. But I thought with, you know, um, flags or some things coming out of that, that would be pretty. Cool. All right. You think I have an accent, Terry? I don't hear it. Jessica, I see you. Am I mailing this to Ashley? I don't hear an accent. Thank you, Jessica. All right. The next is, let's go back to Florida to Disney. This is an older piece um, made in the USA. It is a drawstring bag. I do not know what it is for. I have washed it. Okay, I, I see that, Jessica. I have washed it, but it does have some um, spots on the back that I did not bleach or anything. But it is a canvas drawstring bag with Mickey Mouse on that. Now, what I would do with this and what everybody else would do, because it does have some staining. Y'all see these spots? I don't know if you can see it. Can you see the spots on there? It is. It has been washed, but I did not want to bleach it. It looks like, it almost looks like paint, black paint because none of that came out and maybe um, maybe it was for shoes or something. I don't know, but I, I would probably, um, I would probably put like toys or beach toys or something in there, but like a beach towel, something that, you know, we weren't really too, too worried about, but it is a longer bag. I just love the nostalgia of it. Let's see. It's probably about, mm, it's probably about 12 and five, 17, 18 inches long. Um, and it is about 10 and a half inches wide. It is going to be $6 number 75. Hey, Grace, 2010H, that's, is it Dana or Diana? Sorry if I get that wrong. $6, number 75. I, I think I'm getting that wrong, and I apologize for that. Hang books or Legos in the kids' room. Yeah, that's a good idea. I have um, another spoon. This one is small, and it is not vintage. It's newer. This one is only $3. It is from Maryland. And it does have the um, engraved things here, but it's only about Dana. Thank you for clarifying that. It is three and a quarter inches. So this one is $3 number 63. $3, number 63. So yes, these are, that one is newer. All right, my last, sorry if I'm going fast, y'all. Um, I wanted to be mindful that there were other sales. Um, okay, but she doesn't care if I call her Grace. Well, that's easier for me to remember. Grace is, is something I can remember. Um, my last strawberry item, and this is a beautiful plate. I did picture that on Instagram. It is not marked anything. It does have some um, Chinese or Japanese writing on the back, but I just loved that. I don't have a, I don't have a cup. I don't have anything with that. It is about seven and a quarter inches around. It does have a little dip to it. So it's almost like a plate bowl. It's not flat like a plate, but it's got a little bit of a bowl shape to it. This is $5 number four, $5 number four. Hey, Miss Joanne, that's okay. Thank you for dropping by. That was our strawberry plate. That was my last strawberry item. 
All right. That was $5 number four. And Joanne and I have a sale coming up on the 28th at 7 p.m. Eastern time. So that will be fun. We each have 17 items. Um, you know, it's never a sale of mine without a cookbook. So I did have a cookbook and I chose this one. It is a 1966. It is a Woman's Day Encyclopedia of Cookery. This is volume 11. I have three of these, but I picked this one for this particular sale. You can see here it has a 1966. Um, but I picked this one because it has some different places cookery. It has um, South American cookery, Southeastern cookery, um, and then some Southern and Southwestern, some Spanish cookery. So it's Swiss cookery, Swedish cookery. So because it had different areas, that's why I picked it. Let me show you some of the beautiful pictures in here. They're absolutely pretty. Yeah, mark your calendars because we're each going to have 15 items. I don't think we have a theme or anything. Oh, this looks good. 15 items on the 28th with me and, oh, tongue. No, I'm not eating that. Move on. Okay, <laughs> next. <laughs> Sorry, I digress, y'all. Um, fondues. This has, let me tell you how many pages it has. Oh, it even gives you menus. That's what I like when they tell you what to go with each thing. But it is, um, it's, it's a set. I have some others, but I wanted to pick this one because I thought, oh, this was a, um, I would say this, but I don't know what it says. It's Southeastern Asian cookery. I don't know what these words are down here, so I don't want to make a fool of myself. Well, normally I don't mind, but, you know. All right, let's see. It literally has, I don't know how many because the pages are not numbered. Oh, I lied. It can't be 1,018. This says 1839. They must, must have started from the first book. Yeah, 1685. So we're looking about 200 pages. This cookbook is hardback book. It would probably, I think, Michelle, I can pull this media mail, right? Um, Woman's Day Encyclopedia 1966 cookbook, $5, number 16. Yes, just amazing finds is our, um, is our theme. That's it. Yes, and it can go media mail. So if this is the only thing that you get today, then that item can go media mail. I have to brush up on my media mail because they keep changing. Um, I do have a little vintage. This one is vintage. It is smaller. Um, and this one is Virginia. And it has another charm to it. But there's your little Virginia charm right there. And it is smaller. It is only three and a quarter inches tall. It is a vintage one. It's not newer. Um, it is $5, number 23. $5, number 23 for the Virginia Spoon. Let me move this skunk before I break it. Miss Belinda wouldn't be very happy with me. All right, the next item is an item that has not appeared in a haul yet. It's going to appear after, but don't yell at me because I needed it for this sale. Um, it is a beautiful New Mexico cup, and it's made out of ceramic, I believe, um, but it's different. So it is actually, it looks like, not engraved, I don't know what you call that, but it's pressed into that. But this is New Mexico. It's got beautiful little coloring on there. There's a little road runner and a cactus. Now there is a spot right here that is part of the cup. It doesn't look like it was broken. It looks like that's how it was made. With like, 
it's, it doesn't have glazing on this part. It has glazing here and on the inside, but it is made in Japan. Maybe, I, I don't know if embossed is the right word. I, it may be the right word, but I just thought this was really cool. I love the design of that. It, this Japan mug for New Mexico is $6, number 40. $6, number 40. Now, I like the little Roadrunner. All right. I am going to show you um, a couple of items before I go back through um, quickly, but I had a couple of items that were not able to be picked up. Um, remember, we, we talked out sometimes that that happens, but a couple of them were um, Father's Day items. Um, yeah, uh, Janice is saying, Dragonfly Attic, you missed the strawberry plate. <laughs> uh, let me show you. I have one more piece of ephemera, and then I have a couple of other items that I'm going to reshow that were not able to be claimed before I go back through, Okay. Um, the other ephemera also is, this one is $7. And the reason that this one is $7 is that the front has a tear in it. Um, and that is on the big ad right there. Um, this is June 1917 as well. And then when I looked through this one, it only has, it doesn't have as many. Now it is full of information, but it doesn't have as many ads. So with the condition issue of this, um, I wanted to, it still has the beautiful, it has the ads like the other ones have, but it did have that condition issue in that. But here's some more active waist and skirt, att active, attractive waist and skirts. And then things for little folks right here. But lots of ads. Like you can see all down the side, this one was ads. This one is only $7. It's June 1917. $7 number 31. $7 number 31 for this one. And let's not break it even more. An active waste. That does sound saucy. I'll never have one of those, but you know, it's always, it's always good to try. All right, let me just show a couple of items and it's no harm, no foul, but I do want to reshow them because I had a couple of them that were, um, Father's Day items. And I thought that I would just show them. One was, um, the gray mug with the old car and the airplane. It, it has become available again. It does have the no slip. And we talked about pins or toothbrushes or combs or something like that. And it is $6, number five. $6, number five for that one. And the Henry Ford ashtray that was from the Henry Ford Museum. I thought that would be a great little change collector. Um, for a dad, grandpa, or husband who likes old cars, $6, number 11. And it did come from the Henry Ford Museum. So $6, number 11. And let's see, I did have... Um, a blue floral plate that is just from OCI. It is um, just a, a Japan maker. Let me show you. I've got my tag for my booth on there. But I love the design on the bottom and I love the colors in this plate. I thought it would be a beautiful underplate for a plant or something or a backdrop. $5, number 13. $5, number 13 for this plate. Oh, my arm. And then a cookbook that has about 118 pages. This is from the Cedar Hill, Texas, the Historical Society. So one of those good old um, 
historical society cookbooks where you get to try all the recipes when you're on the cookbook committee. It's $5, number 25. And um, it has, here's the pie section. That's most important, cream pie. So it had five, it was $5, oops, number 25. So I just wanted to show those again. Um, they were not able to be claimed after the last sale. All right. So that's all that I have for this sale. I know that we have some new people that came in. So I'm going to run through the other items um, rather quickly. Number 13. Oh, the blue floral plate, Kathy. I have you, Kathy, for the blue floral plate. Thank you, Kathy. I will put you for that. Ah. Okay. So let me show you the things that did not sell. And um, this will be the uh, second time showing those. If you have to go, thank you so much for being here today. Make sure that you send me this information. And to this email, seprincess1 at comcast.net, if you claimed anything today. And um, my next sale is June the 24th. And I believe that is with Sabrina Simon. So um, that will be fun. We'll each have 20 items. All right. So let me show you. Let me start with the buttons. These are going... And some of the items I'll be able to go down on this second time. So I am going to actually do that for this, the three buttons. We're going to do the three fish buttons. Let me show you them. They are hand-painted ceramic buttons. They are so pretty. Could be used on a pillow or anything like that. I'm going to go down to $3 for those, number 21. $3 for the ceramic fish buttons, number 21. All right, let me put them up before, you know, I drop them. Oh, no, Kathy's had no air since. That's just too much, Kathy. No air, that's just too much. All right, um, the next thing was the, the vintage bride file. This was really cool. It is a um, plastic box that is full. And inside of that, you have a little checklist that they started to use. They have here, these are your service cards with your follow-up there. Even as package toppers, that would be cool. And um, it does have a whole bunch of the guests and the gift registries there so this little bride file i can do six dollars it was eight we're gonna go six dollars number 14. six dollars number 14 for the vintage brides file box i can put that in my booth as well all right. Yes. Um, they have our vagabond travels. Debbie has a uh, estate sale and a chat next week at this time. The what is it? Dragon Moriage motif. We call it dragon wear. See, I learned something. It is a beautiful luster blue vase. That is dragon wear. It does say Crater Lake, Oregon on there. But it is in perfect condition. No chips or cracks. It is made in Japan. It still has its sticker. I can do $5 number 32. $5 number 32 for the dragon wear. It is very, very pretty for this face. All right. What is next? Um, the Colorado spoon. 
the vintage Colorado spoon. We are going to, it has the little deer charm right here. And it is Colorado with the embossed pieces for Colorado. $5, it was seven, $5 number eight. $5 number eight for the vintage Colorado spoon. All right, sometimes I'm able to do this, which is for me a lot of fun. It's kind of like going to a sale. Um, the letter P Disney mug. Now this one is at the right price. It was $8 number 57. $8 number 57 for the letter P Walt Disney World mug. It is red on the inside. It's the letter P. $8 for that one, number 57. And what's next? The Texas postcards went to Dolores. And the Souvenir Florida Plate. I think I have another one like this. So I'm going to go to $5. I'm almost positive I have another one. $5 number three for the Florida Made in Taiwan uh, plate. It is a souvenir plate. $5 number three for that one. All right, let me get my doodads in the right place, y'all. The Restaurant Wear Wyoming mug is going to be $4, number 77 for the Angry Cowboy from Wyoming. He looks hot. That's why he's probably angry. $4, number 77. It's probably how Kathy feels with it having no AC. And it is a little restaurant wear piece, and it does have USA right here on the bottom. I don't know if y'all can see that. There you go. That was number 77 for $4. Um, what's next? Oh, the DC spoon, the DC spoon is, um, it is a new, it's one of the newer ones. Yeah. The DC spoon is newer. We're going to do $3 for the, this is uh, Washington DC, which would be cool in a red, white, and blue display. $3 number 56, $3 number 56. Bye, Kathy. Thanks so much for coming. And we also had the Florida pin, the Florida thermostat and pin set. That was really cool. Um, I can do seven on that one. Seven dollars, number 24. $7, number 24. It does have a working thermometer. It's a pen. It's a little desk set, little um, souvenir piece. Oh, they might be a state soon. You're talking about DC? Yeah. So it might be collectible when they become a state. $7, number 24 for the Florida piece. Um, let's see. What's next? The bride and groom cake topper. We can go six dollars on that one, number two, and it is um, it is Ardco. It is marked Ardco, bride and groom cake topper. Six dollars, number two. Um, let's see the Mackinac black and white. I do not have, I thought this one was 1935, but that one is 1935. 
but this one is black and white. So when I look at the buildings, that's how I know. This is a Mackinac Island. It is a black and white um, photo. And I look at the buildings where they, um, where they take the picture to see, you can tell in each one of the postcards that I have for Mackinac Island, you see that things are added to the picture or the dock is longer or bigger ships are in there. And you know that that kind of dates it before or after. This Mackinac postcard is $4, number 54. $4, number 54 for the black and white Mackinac postcard. Um, let me see. What is next? Oh, the enamel scoop. The enamel scoop, enamelware uh, dipper. Um, that is, it does have that condition issue on it. And it has some, something I need to wash off. What is that? So I am going to go five dollars, five dollars because it does have that condition issue right there. Five dollars, number thirty for the blue and white enamel wear dipper, which I would hang on a fence and put a flower in. That's what I would do with it because I'm not going to dip anything. Let's be honest. All right. Let's see. Oh, the red, white, and blue trivet. Uh, not yet. Not yet, Janice. I will. The red, white, and blue trivet. This red, white, and blue trivet that is crocheted is $4, number 43. $4, number 43. And it does have some raised on there. All right, let me see. Um, the luster box. We can go seven on that one. Just because I have some several luster pieces that are over there. This is the Orlando, Florida luster trinket box. It'd be cute to put some money in if you were going to on a trip to Orlando as a get as like a gift and this is seven dollars number 62 seven dollars number 62 for the orlando dolphin trinket box all right and the disney drawstring bag I will go down to five on that since it had so much staining on it. But the Mickey Mouse Disney uh, drawstring bag is $5, number 75. $5, number 75 for the Disney bag. Um, the Virginia Spoon. That one is $5, number 23. The Vintage Virginia Spoon has the charm on there. It's the smaller one. Um, let's see. The New Mexico Mug, made in Japan, $6, number 40. $6, number 40 for the New Mexico Mug. The strawberry plate. Here's the strawberry plate that you were asking about. This is the, it's more like a bowl than a, than a plate. I mean, it, I don't know. It's got like a ridge. So it's a little bit deeper than a, than a plate, but it is a strawberry pattern on there with the blue and the white. It is $5 number four, $5 number four for the strawberry plate. All right, then the luster dolphin, what I was calling a vessel, we found out maybe a piece for an aquarium. It's a big piece for an aquarium, must be a really big one. Um, this is gonna be $12, number 50. 
$12, number 50. $12, number 50 for this um, vessel piece here. Now, I don't know if it's an aquarium piece or I was looking at it as something else. Okay, hold on just a second. And I see Dragonfly Attic for the strawberry plate. She must have been feeding kids or husbands or something. All right. Beth said she came for the strawberries and she could be, a, um, I don't know if a tea light would fit in there. It's kind of small for that. I, I was just going to put flowers on it or in it or some greenery, which maybe is what it was in the other one. Um, but I just thought it was really cool for a summer display. The only other things were the Woman's Day Encyclopedia Cookbook for... Um, $16, oh, $16, number 16, number five, number 16, $5, $5, number 16. That's probably, I did it wrong. And that was the hardback encyclopedia of cookery volume 11 that in, um, it's a hardback book and that can go media mail. Now, the ephemera I know can go media mail because I ask about that. And I do have a needle craft magazine. And I can do um, where this one is. The, that's the torn one. So I can do the one that is the one with the condition issue. This one that is June 1917. Um, we can do five dollars on this one the one that has the condition issue there it is 12 full pages so we can do five dollars on that one um it does not have the ads that the 1920 had the 1920 one sold i think the 19 yes the 1920 one sold it it had does not have the ads as the other one um and then the 1917 is the one that does not have condition issues was eight dollars number 19. all right so i think that's it does anybody have any questions or did i forget to reshow something <clears throat> thank you so much for y'all for coming i really appreciate that I will be um, invoicing starting tomorrow and uh, make sure that you have sent me, if I don't already have it, your information. And that includes your first and last name, your YouTube name, and if it is different, thanks Michelle, and your PayPal email address and your complete mailing address, even if um, you need to give me a PO box, but make sure that it has a zip code there. So that's all I think. If you um, think about something and want to ask questions about it, make sure that you email me here below to do that. And I hope that you'll join me on the 24th for another live sale. And then, of course, on the 28th with my live sale for me and Joanne as well. Um, so I guess that's it, y'all. Thanks so much for coming by today. I really appreciate that. I'll get this invoice out to you. Make sure that you contact me in the next 24 hours if you haven't done that today. And then we, you get three days to answer your invoice before it goes back into in, uh, inventory, okay? Thanks so much, y'all. Have a great night. Y'all stay pretty and be sweet. Bye.